Yo guys, welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion. I am Trevin F. And last episode, we found two toads and we got the vacuum cleaner and we got to meet Egad. So, if we go back to the Game Boy of Horror. So, I think we got a key for the next room. Nope. Okay. Um. Mario. So, I don't really know where to go after here, I don't think. I know that we found a toad, and that was the end of it. So I guess for now we'll just explore a little bit. Did I ever open these? I'm not sure if I ever did. I think I did open these already. There's a heart. Hell yeah, I got more health. Let's open this. Nothing, just all the Oh, there's a key up there. Get back your key. There we go. I must say, there had to have been a key somewhere. Okay, so it goes to that room that I was just at before. All right. So let's go and get in that room and let's see what our next objective is, y'all. So this week's been a pretty short week. I only had to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week, which is pretty nice. Um, so, from, uh, by the way, how is your guys? Ooh, what's this? Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of the escape gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, keep my fingers crossed for you. Alright. Anyway, how was your guys' memorial weekend? I had a pretty good one. I know it's Thursday now, so it's like kind of long overdue to like talk about it. But mine wasn't too bad. So I worked Friday last week from 7 a.m. to... Ooh. I worked from uh, Friday from 7 o'clock to 2.30. Um, and then after work, I went to go get my haircut because it was long overdue for me to get a haircut. And um, Saturday... I went to go... I think I went to see my dad Saturday. And then Sunday I went to go see my mom. Not too much really happened. Oh, is this a... Is this what he was talking about? I gotta search. Ho, ho, ho. Go ahead. Try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho, 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 ho. I did it. That doesn't make this very easy. So what do I gotta do? Um, and then Monday I went to Columbus because I was visiting. I was hanging out with a friend. Um, uh, I was hanging out with attacking toucans. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out. But yeah, hanging out with Tyler is really fun. Um, he took me to. A place called the Cheesecake uh, Factory. Never been there in my life, but it was really nice. The food was delicious, by the way. So what exactly do I gotta do here? Oh, yeah. Got money. Um. And then I went back to work Tuesday. Other than that, I didn't really do too much. I just went back to work uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going back today, and then I go back on tomorrow, and then I get the weekend off again. There's a book called Darkness, is there cheese? Will you read it? Ghost mice are drawn to darkness as real mice are drawn to cheese. In the dark, they shine gold with continent. Contentment. I must try to get close to them before the lights come on. Okay. You find Professor E. Gad's Guide to Ghosts. Will you read it? Yes. Dear readers, we've all had trouble with ghosts who aren't easily surprised, right? They have all sorts of ways to protect themselves from light. What would you do, bright folks, when in a fix with one of the stubborn goals? Well, sir, I first look at port opening. A way to catch them off guard is settle them. When a ghost is surprised, it shows you its heart. That's your chance to catch the little booger, I tell you. I've caught dozens of ghosts just like this. 
I, I'm gonna come back to this room because I don't know fully yet what I'm doing. Unless that's the first room I have to go in. It looks like that's the only room accessible at the moment. Oops. Take away all the candlelight. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I can go into any other room yet. Whoa! Oh. Got it. That's a trapdoor. <laughs> Got him. I had to wait for an opening. That's what it was. You dropping mushrooms? Nope. Nope. Got him. Nice. All right, so now I figured it out. Mario. What do we got? Is it a key? Is a key? <laughs> nice. So that unlocks the door down there. Got it. All right. It took me a while because I was like, look for an opening, but I couldn't figure it out, and the light wouldn't turn on. So I had to like think of what would happen next, and like now I got it. <laughs> Alright, let's open this door here. But yeah, this weekend I don't think I have anything planned, so well this Saturday is my birthday. So I might I might do a birthday stream. I'm not like too too sure yet. I was still kind of taking a break from streaming, but who knows? Who knows what I'll do? Alright, what's this one say? Isn't my hair just gorgeous? Of course, I do spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored, cooped up in that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of the mirror. It seems to scare people, though, so everyone is coming up roses. So everything is coming up roses. Got it. All right. Oh dear, such a draft. Haha, <laughs> I got you. What is with you guys dropping mini mushrooms? Or bad mushrooms? Bad luck mushrooms. Get in the vacuum! Get! Got her! She was easier to understand than the other one. There's a toad over there, too. Alright, let's see what's in these. There's a toad over there. Did I miss some stuff over there? Probably not. I just had to double check. Right, let's grab this. And let's go to the next area. Go Ouija. Go Ouija. Go Ouija. That opens the door. Cross. Nice. Where is that toad at? I see him jumping through the like from from the window. <laughs> oh god, not No, I did not want to deal with a baby in anything. Oh god. What's going to happen? I hear a crying baby. I'm out. a ball and there's coins in this room what what baby needs coins For what purpose horsey rocky horsey okay Okay. 
Okay. So, by that description, what the hell am I supposed to do here? He wants a horse? Oh! Hey, wanna play with me? Guess I didn't really have a choice there. Uh, I, I, I have a feeling it's something to do with that ball, right? The ball weed. I'm not really sure what I did. Ow, you gave me an owie. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. So do I. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small. Now grow smaller. Small, itsy, tiny, little, weed, ga ga goo goo ga. That was really weird to read out loud, by the way. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Am I in the playpen? A lot of rocking horses here. Oh, now you're proud to be the fucking bigger person. Oh my god. That is horrifying. This is why I don't want kids in the future. Can I... What, what do I do? I'm kind of just thrown into this without even, like... Knowing what, what I'm supposed to do. Can I vacuum those up? I hate the inverted controls. I, I can never understand them. This doesn't, like, seem too difficult. It seems like I just gotta dodge the rocking horses to pick up a ball. Jesus. The baby is not happy with me. Does it go through the face? Oh my god! Everybody do the flop! I don't like the faces you're making. How about you drop some hearts? That'd be nice. If I can have some health. So I don't gotta try to get the balls. I gotta wait for one to stay on the floor. It's basically what I'm seeing here. And looks like we have our winner. Can I get him in this one? Oh shit. So did we lose two hearts every time? You wanna do the flop? You wanna do the flop? I'll do the moonwalk, you do the flop, how about that? I'll do the moonwalk, do the moonwalk, do the moonwalk. You can't you can't stab someone that can do the moon that can do the moonwalk. Oh. Okay. You know, I kinda saw that coming. Just gotta wait for a solid ball. Just gotta wait for a ball. Just gotta wait for a ball. Just gotta wait for a ball. I found a ball. You're mine. Yeah! Got him!
Ooh. What's in this big chest? A pink key. Where does this go? Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm. You seem to be a bit tuckered out after that. Long battle, don't you? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But ho oh, ho, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Alright. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portificationizer? This machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm? How do we use it, you ask? Well, simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. Alright. I caught a good amount of ghosts in this one. <clears throat> Why is he running like Naruto? He dad runs like Naruto, what the heck? 20 years. I see why this took 20 years. Holy crap. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. <laughs> now you've caught Area 1. Navelle? Lydia? Chauncey. The baby's name is Chauncey? Does that mean he's gonna be a butler when he's older? Caught a total of three ghosts. How rich am I? Four million five hundred five thousand. Right. Definitely save. Where will you go, Luigi? Um. Let's go to the mansion. Careful now, Luigi. All right. So where are we at now? Where do we got to go now? Can we use it on the sword? Ooh. I think we will save for now, and we'll explore that in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.